So I've been a PA for eight years and I'd be lying if I said that I didn't think about going back to med school, but I didn't. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be discussing something that I've gotten a lot of questions about. Why I didn't go back to med school or the PA versus MD, DO. This video is kind of just the reasoning on why I didn't go back to med school, but yes, I did consider it. Before we begin, just a little disclaimer. Not all PAs became PAs because they didn't get into med school. There's a lot of fake information or a lot of hate amongst PAs on social media saying they want to be doctors. They became PAs because they didn't get into med school. And that's not the case. There's a lot of personal reasons why people choose to become a PA, whether that's a career change, whether it be cost. There's so many different reasons. And that would kind of be like me saying, oh, the cardiologist is a cardiologist because he didn't match into dermatology residency. And that means that, you know, he's less of a doctor because he's a cardiologist and dermatology residency is a lot more competitive. Like there's a reason why there's different roles in medicine and the reason why these jobs exist, why PAs exist, MPs, nurses, radiology techs, doctors, and all of that. Once again, that's a disclaimer. And two, this video is not to hate on doctors. I love doctors. We need doctors. We need more doctors. My husband's a doctor. Like this is totally has nothing to do with hate. It's just more of my route to kind of being a PA and why I chose not to go to med school. A little bit of an overview. Some of you may or may not know. So I was originally pre-med going into college. I did go into college with a semester worth of credits, which I thought would help me in completing college in three years so that I can get a head start and just become a doctor younger. Everyone knows the path to becoming a doctor is very, 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 very long. And I thought, hey, if I can finish college in a year, why not do that? But I had a friend in the beginning of August and college begins at the end of August that summer tell me about the PA profession. I quickly began kind of researching about the roles of PA and I became super interested. And this was three weeks before starting my first semester as a freshman in college. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to apply, like what's gonna happen? So I was emailing the administrative team for the PA program to get into the pre-PA program. And I had all the grades and I met all the requirements, but this was three weeks before I begin college. So long story short, I got in pre-PA program at my college. What it entailed was two years of your college years and then two years of PA school. So I went through summers during my first two years of undergrad and I did all my prereqs then. The last two years were the didactic and the rotations. So I did have to maintain a certain GPA to get into the program or just to remain in the program, I should say. But I also had to maintain a certain GPA because I also had a scholarship during that time. So that's just kind of my route on how I did PA school or how I went into PA school. So I finished PA school, took my boards, became a PA, practiced as a PA. And within the third year of me practicing as a PA, I did have thoughts on going back to med school. I was vaguely researching. There was a kind of an easier path, like a PA, MD, PA, DO route. And then life happened and I kind of considered all the pros and cons on going back to med school. The thoughts that were going through my mind at this time was, why was I thinking that I want to go back to med school? Was it because of our increase in salary? Was it because of being able to have that title or that hierarchy? Was it because I wanted to be that final say in all the decision making? And then I thought, well, let me see why I love being a PA and if those pros outweigh the cons. So now I'm gonna go into all the pros of being a PA that I thought outweigh the cons of being a doctor. So number one, being a PA is more financially lucrative in a way where for some, you have less loans, you finish school in a shorter amount of time and you start making money faster. I mean, I didn't do the whole entire math of like, if you're a PA for X amount of years and you're a doctor for X amount of years, cause there's so many different variants on what kind of physician you are, where you practice that really makes your salary dependent on those factors. But in general, you do have less loans, you do begin your career faster and you can start making money quicker. For me, that was a plus. At that point in my career, I didn't have any loans. I was debt free and I was in my early twenties and making a great salary. So for me, I was like, well, hmm, do I want to go back and be in debt or am I satisfied with my financial situation now? 
Number two kind of goes into number one is that the route to becoming a PA is shorter than becoming an MD or a DO. In some situations, this didn't really apply to me, but I had classmates in my PA school that were doing a career switch. They were in their late 30s, early 40s, and the route to becoming a doctor was just too long for them. So, you know, that's another reason why becoming a PA is a great option. Number three, you can still practice as a provider. As a PA, you can diagnose, treat, assist in the operating room, perform procedures, see patients, and have your own patient following. So yes, you will be practicing under a supervising physician, but you'll still be able to practice as a provider and practice medicine. Number four, switching specialties. I worked in dermatology, general surgery, urgent care, and now aesthetics. So I love the fact that as a PA, it can be so versatile with different specialties. You can work in one full-time and work in the other part-time, and you don't have to actually commit to one specialty. So if you love two things, you can actually practice in two fields of medicine. I think that's an awesome pro to being a PA, and for me, that worked out. Number five, flexible schedule. So you will find that working in the hospital, you can do three 12 hour shifts, four 10 hour shifts. You can work in an outpatient setting, working nine to five or eight to four, Monday through Friday. The schedule is very flexible. You can work part-time, per diem, full-time. Really that's what makes the profession of a PA so flexible is the work-life balance, which brings me into the last reason, which is work-life balance. For the most part, being in medicine is really, really, really tiring. As a PA, you still get to practice as a provider and play a vital role in patient's care, but you still are able to have a life outside of work. You are still able to do hobbies, have a family, be with family, spend time with friends, travel. It just gives you so much flexibility. And that's honestly the reason why I chose to continue being a PA. It's because of that work-life balance. At that time in my life where I was thinking about making this switch, life just got in the way. There was a tons of personal things that were going on and you know, the route to becoming a doctor just didn't quite pan out in my life at that moment. And I thought of all these pros of why being a PA was so great. And I'm like, you know, I love what I do and I love my career. This is exactly what I want. So for me, I decided to stay as a practicing physician assistant and just marry a doctor. No, I'm joking. <laughs> All jokes aside, these were my six reasons why I decided not to go back to med school. Michael and I did a video on PA versus MD. I mean, maybe we need to update that, but that kind of gives you a broad spectrum on like the different roles of a PA versus a doctor. This video, I kind of just wanted to focus on the reason why I decided not to go back to med school or to fulfill my interest into going back to med school. I do have colleagues and I've met colleagues that were PAs that went back to med school and honestly, that's awesome. Like if you want to be a doctor, go ahead and be a doctor. If you want to be a PA, go ahead and be a PA. There will be a role for every single healthcare provider. For me personally, this worked out for me and all the personal events that were occurring during those times. For some people, they can't afford med school or they don't have the opportunity to go to med school. Then they decide that they want to do something in medicine, but they don't want to take that long route. So PA is a great option for those people. Unfortunately, there has been so much backlash with PAs trying to be doctors, and that's not the case. I mean, I'm not gonna go into a whole another rant about that, but you have to look at your own life and what route works best for you. If being a doctor is that important for you, then you should be a doctor. If being a PA is that important for you, then you should become a PA. If you prefer the role of a PA, then you know that that's the route that you should go on. But if PA is not as fulfilling for you, then you should go further and become a doctor. I've gotten so many questions just in general as a provider, like, oh, when are you gonna go back to med school? Or even patients will always ask, oh, so you're just training now, you're gonna go back to school, and I'm like, Nope, I'm a physician assistant, I'm done. And I'm sure a lot of PAs can relate with me. That's definitely happened. But that's the whole point on, as PAs, we have to educate the public on our role in healthcare and on our role in our patients' lives. So anyway, that is all. If you want a more detailed video on PA versus 
MD or if you feel like Michael and I need to update our old video, I will attach that video right here. Just leave a comment below and let us know your feedback on that. Otherwise, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and leave some comments below on what video ideas you think would be good for the new videos to come. Anyway, this is a new filming setting. We are currently staying with my family, so yeah change of scenery, not our New York City apartment. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.